Oh, Israel, where is your blood sacrifice? I awoke with these words on September 16th. And the Lord told me to write them down. Given to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah. Oh, Israel. Oh, how I weep. Yes, I, Yahweh, creator of all, creator of even time itself. I weep, for I have poured out my love, poured out my mercy, given my very best. My beloved son, Yahshua, I, Yahweh, gave Yahshua, who even poured out his blood to redeem the sins of Adam and Eve. Oh, Israel, the blood of Yahshua still saturates your soil. Why do you think Satan hates you? Why do you think that he hates you more than any people or any nation? Because I, Yahweh, came to you in the flesh through my son, Yahshua, my beloved son. Abraham only thought he had to sacrifice Isaac. Abraham only had to experience that feeling of great sorrow and grief as he held a dagger above his beloved son, thinking there would be no ram to offer up as a sacrifice, as a blood sacrifice. But in faith he believed that I, Yahweh, would raise up Isaac from the dead, if need be, just as I did my son, Yahshua. It is because of who I, Yahweh, am, because of who I am, because of my love that has no beginning nor end for those called my children, and only those who are called my children are those calling out to me in the name of my son, Yahshua. Only I stopped Abraham from sacrificing his son Isaac. I provided a ram hidden from Abraham's view until the right time. Abraham was not perfect. Neither was Isaac. Israel pays the price of Abraham's sin that brought forth Ishmael and the seed of Ishmael. Abraham needed a blood sacrifice also. It was a ram that was symbolized, that was caught in the thicket. This symbolized my beloved son, Yahshua, the only lamb of Yahweh, the perfect lamb without sin, without spot or blemish. The ram was caught in the thicket. My beloved son, Yahshua, cried out to me. He also caught in the thicket of my will, Father, if it all be possible, take this cup from me, but not as I will, but as your will be done. Yahshua was symbolized as that ram, as that blood sacrifice that Abraham had that day, which took Isaac's place. Yeshua's blood sacrifice is the only human sacrifice that is holy enough to wash away the sins of all mankind. If mankind will but accept and obey this new blood covenant I gave at Calvary through my beloved son, Yahshua, this is my promise to my faithful children who love Yahshua and accept this new blood covenant. As I didn't leave my beloved son in the tomb, I raised him from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, so will I do the same for you. All my children have to do is receive, believe, love, and try your best to obey my commandments. Is this so hard? I speak to those who refuse my son Yahshua as Messiah. Where is your blood sacrifice? All know there must be a blood sacrifice for the remission of sins. What animal is perfect? What human? None except my beloved son Yahshua. I, Yahweh, canceled the old blood covenant to give mankind a better blood covenant. This is the only way I can forgive your sins. There is no other way to my throne for me to answer your prayers except through the name of Yahshua, through his shed blood at Calvary for the remission of your sins. There is no other intercessor before me other than my son Yahshua. Mohammed can't save you. Calling upon Abraham can't save you. Allah can't save you. Only calling upon the name of Yahshua will save you. I have spoken before through this handmaiden. Those that think that keeping the Torah alone will save them must realize all have sinned and fell short of my glory. Breaking one commandment is the same as breaking all the commandments. You need a Savior. Yeshua is that Savior. 
those that refuse to accept Yeshua as their Lord and Savior, the Messiah of all mankind, will be not judged by Yeshua, but will instead stand before Moses, who will open the book of judgment without mercy. For he warned Israel there would be a new covenant coming, a new blood covenant. He knew that it could not appease my wrath. This was only temporary for the animal sacrifices. O oh, Israel, I sent that new blood covenant to be born on your own soil. I did miracles through the name of Yahshua. I used him to be a human sacrifice, a human blood sacrifice, the only perfect blood atonement for sin. And I arose him from the dead in the soil of Israel. On this first day of Yom Kippur, 2002, I speak unto Israel, and I tell them I hear your prayers of repentance asking for my forgiveness. I see your fasting. I feel your fear as you realize your sins are a stench to my nostrils. Oh, Israel, you know I am Adonai, and I will judge you for the works of your flesh. Oh, Israel, you know there is no blood sacrifice. You long to build that temple with walls so you can once again do sacrifices of animals for the remission of sins, where your high priest can cry aloud for mercy. Yet you refuse to receive the gift I gave you, a temple without walls, filled with the Riachrash, filled with my love and mercy, my miracles and my judgment, a temple not built with human hands, a perfect, holy, sinless temple. His name is Yahshua. My name is contained in his name. The power is in the sacred name. The power is in our sacred names. Yahshua is that temple. Yahshua is the only blood sacrifice I will accept. Yahshua came to Israel as a babe. Yahshua was your blood sacrifice. Yahshua is the only holy blood sacrifice. O oh, Israel, hear me. Yahshua's blood poured into Israel's soil and yet filled the entire four corners of the earth. O oh, Israel, hear me. Because you refused this new blood covenant, I gave it also to the Gentiles, grafted them into the ranch waiting for you to repent and accept Yahshua as your Messiah. What will it take, O Israel? How few of a remnant I have in Israel. As I speak these words through this handmaiden, there will be new disciples arise and take this word into Israel. For I tell you now, you have proof pouring forth from your own wailing wall, where a symbol of my living water pours forth. Where is this living water coming from? I, Yahweh, am giving this gift to you again. As the Ruh HaKadosh was released through Yahshua in Israel, now it pours forth through a wall where Israel kneels, weeps, wails, and prays. Accept Yahshua as your Messiah. As the temple wall bulges and being destroyed before your eyes, can you not see, O Israel? The old covenant has passed away. I do not desire animal sacrifices. Only the blood of my beloved son, Yahshua, who came from the tribe of Judah, can be Israel's blood covenant and the whole world's blood atonement for sins. There is only one sin that cannot be forgiven, rejecting Yahshua and the life and the blood he sacrificed at Calvary. Beware mocking and rejecting the Ruach Arash is blasphemy. There is no remission of the sin except Yahshua's life and blood, and through his name is the only remission of sin. I gave you this gift at Calvary. I gave the world this gift in Israel. On this high holy day, I, Yahweh, speak through this Jewish handmaiden, O Israel, you who stoned, tortured, murdered the apostles and prophets, you who killed my children, I sent to witness to you, O Israel, even the blood of the martyrs soak your soil. Only I know, O Israel, how much of your own blood must flow before you accept the only Messiah that can save you. Yahshua still weeps for you, as he did in the Garden of Gethsemane. The eyes of the world are fixed upon you, O Israel. My eyes never leave you. The saving power is in the name you reject, the cornerstone of the temple you reject. But you must accept Yahshua as Messiah. It is through Yahshua's name, word, and blood. Yahshua will save Israel. Oh, Israel, Yahshua fasted for you 40 days and 40 nights. 
Do you really think one day of fasting is sufficient to cover your sins? My children who have accepted Yahshua as Lord God and Messiah, rejoice that their sins were paid for in full at Calvary. I, Yahweh, wait for you, O Israel. O Israel, you who observe and remember the Jewish feasts and holy days, do you not yet see Yahshua is in all of them? O Israel, return to me in holiness. Turn away from your sins and true repentance in the name of my son Yahshua. O Israel, I weep for your pain, but remember as I am holy, so too you must be set apart and be holy. Do you really want to be judged by the laws I gave Moses, as well as Moses will judge you, without any mercy, since you reject the only intercessor, the only perfect Lamb of Yahweh? Yeshua will say to those who depend on the old blood covenant to save you, those who are depending on this blood covenant, beware. He will say you choose to be judged by the old blood covenant. You will be judged by Moses, since none are perfect. Woe be unto those who are judged by Moses. None will be spared. Hell and the lake of fire will be your eternal home. Everyone is making their reservations for eternity. No one is guaranteed another second of life. All who are at I, Yahweh's mercy. Today is the day of your salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. So it is spoken, so it is written, on this first day of Yom Kippur, September 16, 2002, given to the servant, Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya.